pumps on the workhorse that enable movement of liquids in any process plant. Pump calculations are the major activity in any project. The first thing that is noticed when a plant is started up is the openings of the control valves, whether they are in controlling range or not. It should be understood that there could be a number of uncertainties in the hydraulic calculations. The actual pipe length could be higher than what is taken up as a design. The operating temperature and the density and so the density of the fluid could be different from what is taken in the design. The property estimation methods may not be accurate and so the densities and viscosities or the physical properties may be different from what is taken in the design. It is also to be understood that a 5% increase in the head may not really cost as much, but the inability to meet the guarantee could be a big issue. This could be escalated very high up to the management. So what are the do's for pump calculation? The calculation should consider the entire system, which means that do not stop at the batter limit pressures. It should be the friction and the static pressure drops in the system and the sensitivity of its changes needs to be understood. Piping, adequate piping margins to, should be taken at the beginning of the project. And finally, the engineer should not use the spreadsheet blindly. If you look at the life cycle of a pump calculation, typically there is a first cut calculation done during the front end of the project, which is again reviewed during the detailed design and design checks are cal carried out after the startup in case there are issues and further during any revamps of the process plant hydraulics calculations are again done. Now let's have a look at each of them briefly. During the front end, the engineer should consider always the entire system. The engineer should ensure that there is a good basis of design, PFDs and properties and adequate margins are available before the calculation is started. It's better that the engineer ensures that the vessel sizing is done prior to starting the hydraulic calculation so that the height of the vessel, tangent level of the vessel is fixed properly. During the detailed design phase, when the pump is generally purchased, the critical systems are checked in detail. Now, the question is what are critical systems? maybe reactor pumping or pumps which deal with uh, two-phase pressure drops or pumps where the pressure drops are very uh, low, that could be critical in nature. It is necessary to review the allowances, piping allowances taken during the front end design. During this phase, pump minimum flow checks are also done. Now, let's look at the revamp study case. Upsizing of the pump can be a big challenge. It is first necessary to check whether the control wall change can do the trick and then the impeller upsizing should be done. It is required to check the adequacy of the motor during revamp study and it is also necessary for the engineer to ensure that the shutoff pressure is within the design pressure. In case the shutoff pressure exceeds the design pressure, then adequate changes to be done to the system. Thank you.